Hello, my name is Omar Santos. I'm part of Cisco's product security incident response team, and I'm also the chair of the CSAF Technical Committee. CSAF stands for the Common Security Advisory Framework. When we think about security advisories, we often have that picture of static documents, whether they are websites, HTML files, PDF files that are sent out by vendors or by a lot of organizations in the industry like coordination centers like CERT-CC, ICS-CERT, and many others. But those are written to be digested by humans and cannot be automated very well. As the number of security vulnerabilities discovered and disclosed increases, not only with the greater insights into the supply chain through software building materials and other artifacts, but also with the enhancements of our tools, CSAF has taken on the important task of specifying a standard for machine-readable and automatable security advisories. The new release of CSAF, CSAF 2.0, brings more than just machine-readable advisories in JSON format. It specifies the distribution mechanism and how new CSAF documents can be discovered and disclosed. With a VEX profile within a CSAF document or a vulnerability exchange profile, it addresses one of the big issues when introducing SBOMs or software bill of materials. Basically, you can tell your uh, users and your customers and your consumers that a product may not be affected by a third-party software vulnerability. For example, the vulnerable call has re been removed or remediated. It also allows you to respond to false positives of security scanners. CSAF is maintained and created by OASIS. And if you're not familiar with OASIS, it's a nonprofit consortium that advances open standards and open source development on a global scale. Some of the most widely adopted standards are developed at OASIS, including STIX, Taxi for Cyber Threat Intelligence, OpenC2, SAML, and much more. CSAF have been part of the OASIS community since 2016. CSAF replaced the Common Vulnerability Reporting Framework, or CVRF, that was introduced by the ICASI nonprofit organization. Now, CSAF is a stable and ready to use specification. It is already implemented and used by the technical committee and non technical committee members, including but not limited to Arista, Cisco, Red Hat, Oracle, Siemens, BSI, and Schrader Electric. We are actively working on many different tools to help the adoption of CSAF. For example, SecVisogram is already publicly available and anybody can actually use it to create and validate CSAF documents. As you know, security advisories play a crucial role in securing our assets as they contain important information on how to remediate vulnerabilities. Providers of products and services, whether they are vendors or open source providers and many organizations, can produce, consume, and process security advisories in a very modern way using CSAF. If you want to get more information about the tools, the specification, and documentation of CSAF, please visit csaf.io.